Hi, I'm Jack Buffington for RobotBrigade.com. In my last video, I showed you the logic gates and their truth tables. In this one, I'm going to show you the logic gates and how to convert them into Boolean algebra. So let's start with the AND gate. AND gate is drawn like this. And the Boolean algebra equivalent is A B, or it could also be drawn as A dot B. You, uh, and is treated like multiply in regular uh, algebra. For the OR gate, we have a or B and this is treated or drawn like uh, addition and there is no other simplification of that the inverter gate or the not is sometimes drawn with a bar above it it's also sometimes drawn with a little apostrophe, like A prime. And you may even see with a dot over top. This one's rare, though. All right, let's take a expression and draw a circuit from it. So what if I have a, B, this is my function, equals A, B, or C. All right. Well, if I look at it, uh, the smallest grouping here is A, B, which is A and B. So we'll draw my inputs. And we have A and B. And it helps when you're drawing these circuit diagrams to uh, label what's going on at each part. So uh, I have at this point, this signal line is doing A, B, A and B. Now I'm going to bring C over. And at this point, I have A, B or C. All right, let's look at another. What if I were to have A or B or C? All right, one way that I could do it, and there's two ways, would be to have this. So I bring A and B together with an OR gate. So I have A or B. And then I bring C over with another OR gate. So that's treating it sort of like this. All right, we could also do it like this, which is simpler and looks nicer. It's just simply bring all three signal lines into a three input OR gate. Just like that, that's A or B or C. How about A bar or, um, actually, let me just do this, A bar, B, or C. All right, this is my inputs. I could have it like this. So this is A bar and B. So 
I just put a little inversion bubble on the input of an AND gate. And at this point, I have A bar, B. And we can just bring C over. OK. Let's look at, uh, we'll just create a uh, circuit now, and we'll go backwards to the expression. So if I have A, B, C, and D, and in this one I have a NAND gate, and here I have an OR gate, Well, if you're feeling, uh, well, let me just do this here. All right, let's take a look at this. This is A and B, but it's inverted, so it's A, B, bar. The inversion inverts the whole uh, expression by the gate. But we have another inversion here. So this just becomes, well, let me talk about the inversion. So if I have a b bar and I invert it one more time, the inversion of an inversion is just uh, the sum. So this equals a b. All right, so every pair of inversions you can get rid of. But you need to be careful. If I had this, where they're in individually inverted, that is not equal to AB. All right. Anyway, getting back to this. I'll write on the inside of this OR gate what it is. And here we have C or D. And C or D, just because I'm doing it up here. So we have A, B, or C or D. Which could really just be A, B, or C or D. I'm going to show one more now. You may remember I talked about the exclusive OR gate, which was drawn like this. The way that you uh, denote this in Boolean algebra is A, it's like an OR, it has a circle around it. Okay. And that about does it. If you are finding these videos useful, check out my YouTube uh, page, and uh, you'll find more videos like this about digital logic. For robotbrigade.com, I'm Jack Buffington.